Und Gott sprach, es werde Licht und es ward Licht. Auch wir können mit unserer Stimme Licht ins Dunkel bringen, wenn wir auf Missstände aufmerksam machen. Korruption ist einer der Gründe, warum arme Menschen arm bleiben und das in Ländern mit enormen Bodenschätzen. Die Schweiz ist eine der größten Drehscheiben für den internationalen Rohstoffhandel, bekannt für seine intransparenten Geschäfte. Darum haben wir eine Mitverantwortung hinzuschauen und Licht ins Dunkel zu bringen. Stopp Armut ist eine Kampagne der Schweizerischen Evangelischen Allianz und klärt auf über die weltweite Armut. Sie ruft Christen aller Konfession dazu auf, ihre Stimme gegen jede Form von Ungerechtigkeit zu erheben. Helfen Sie uns, Licht in eine korrupte Welt zu bringen. We now share a planet with over 7 billion people. Approximately 50% of these live in countries with an abundance of natural resources oil, gas, and many minerals. But these are also some of the poorest countries in the world. Sierra Leone is a small country, fewer than six million people live here. Now, just above Bonga village is a quarry which mines all day and night for bauxite, a mineral used in aluminum processing. The scars on the landscape are clear to see. This was once virgin forest and fertile farmland belonging to the village. Shago Tijan is Bongay village chief and is concerned that he doesn't know what comes out of the mine. Sierra Leoneans see mining projects developing around them but don't know how much money is given to the government and so cannot hold their politicians to account for where the money should be spent. This secrecy breeds corruption. Corruption, which in Africa alone diverts 3,000 pounds every second, keeps poor people poor, and this has to stop. The Bible is clear. God has a low threshold on corruption and what the Old Testament calls dishonest scales. Corruption thrives in the secrecy of our unpublished transactions. In Sierra Leone, as in other developing countries, the church is starting to speak out. On record, we have over 27 minerals, mineral deposits in this country. We have diamond, we have gold, bauxite, zircon, rutai, we have iron ore, we have oil, we have all of these things. And in this small country of a population of less than 6 million, and you could imagine if all of these really are exploited in the interest of the nation, what a rich nation those people will be. The effects of corruption are not only felt in the rural areas, but also in the capital, Freetown, where Hotelia Isatu Thorlu Bangora runs a small guest house and restaurant. Uh, the country is very, very rich. It's one of the richest countries in the world. And I feel very embarrassed and annoyed that um, donors should come in to start feeding us. We have everything. In fact, we should have got to the point where we should be feeding other countries. Former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan said that corruption is a key element in economic underperformance and a major obstacle to poverty alleviation and development. If the payments by international companies to national and regional governments were made public, the church and wider society in countries like Sierra Leone could start to hold their leaders to account. As the church, followers of Jesus, we should pray, but we should do more. We should cry out to our leaders that the light of justice would shine on corruption.